haven't been through the first phase of the current and move into the second phase of the current, it's kind of surreal. Because for a very long time, we didn't think that this was gonna happen. It feels almost like home to, to see it. I almost get a little teary-eyed. I'm Sydney Colby, the Creative Arts Design and Communications Manager at The Current at Bahama. From a young age, I knew that I didn't want to be a fine artist, but I did know that I wanted to be creative. Like, I've, I'm geared towards being creative, and that's it. For what I do, specifically graphic design, I'm practically self-taught. I had to learn on my own. Me working in a technical art field is a way of me meeting my two loves. So I look at design as like a math equation. Somebody tells me they have X and Y and how do you solve the Z? And that's my job. So they just give me the elements and I have to come up with the solution. John was my professor at TOB, so just working with John was just like, what? Like, sure, because he was one of my favorite professors. So working with him, I just shot a, jumped at the opportunity and when he told me about it, we were gonna be curating the hotels and then eventually have our own studio and gallery space. It sounded wild as hell, but I was down with it. I was 19. <laughs> you know, I would think I, at the time, I was the youngest full-time employee at Bahama. I feel like we were really good at what we did and we had a passion and a love for what we did. So I think that was reflected in our work. This was such a new concept just in general, not necessarily to, to resorts, but also to the Bahamas. This was just a really new concept. So they let us figure it out. There's nothing better than to telling a creative person, just you handle it, have fun, do what you do best. It's just like, wow, thank you. We all are very excited to see what's gonna happen to the current now. If we succeed, it's for the country essentially, because our mission is to put Bahamian arts, visual arts and culture on an international scale. We're gonna try to change the focus of the country from being ecotourism to cultural tourism. Because when you see these other countries, they all have sun, sand, and sea. You know, they're all in tropical climates. So we're gonna have to offer a little bit more. And what better than the culture? What better than the people? That's unique to us. The upper management has really just let me go to town and <laughs> figure out what the branding is gonna be for this space. They just told us like, well, who better to tell us what the current should look like than, you know, you. I personify <laughs> what they want for the current, something young, something fresh, something behaving, something creative. So who better to give the branding of the space than to somebody like that. Bahama itself means shallow water. And we thought about current as how it relates to water, how it relates to being in the present moment, how it relates to electricity, and the icon is a moth. Moths are attracted to light, and also locally, moths are referred to as money bats, which are a sign of prosperity, wealth, good fortune. I imagine like the average guest or the average person to walk in the current might be like a moth and wear that light. And we're just like that beacon that brings them in and they just can't help but to be drawn in. I'm just grateful for the autonomy, for the ability to really show off my skills with this. I do want to see us live out our mission statement of putting the Bahamian arts and visual culture on a global scale. We have a strong culture. We have a very strong creative presence. We do have a strong visual arts presence. This place gives hope. It gives opportunity to young creatives. Like they will walk into this space and like, wow, I could actually, I could work here. I could, there's a place where I can go and have an artsy job or have an art job. As long as we have creatives or artists or well, behaving creatives, we will have somebody who could do a job here. And I'm happy to see that there's a space now for behaving creatives to say that they could work where they don't have to leave the country. I'd say the current is good for not only the country, but that creative soul that just doesn't know where to go. This is what I'm meant to do, and I'm happy that we have a space now that other people can finally live out what they're meant to do in their home country.